Looks like we're getting ready for game one here. Once again, there's the lineups on your screen. Uh, we'll see what these guys Let's decide to throw out first. Here. University of California, San Diego throws out the Hunter. And University of California, Los Angeles is going to throw out the Warlock. It looks like it is going to be Midrange Hunter versus Demon Hand Lock. And I would definitely say that the Midrange Hunter is pretty favored in this matchup. Yeah, Midrange Hunter should be very favored in this matchup, uh, especially if they're running Hunter's Mark and Owls are mm -hmm. two big tech cards. And also kind of depends on secret somewhat. Uh, freezing being the best secret in this matchup. Decent hand, though, uh, from UCLA. They have... I'd say all their cards are good. <laughs> that's like a hand yeah. that's just all good all around. Uh, Molt Giant's important in this matchup. Void Void Caller is important as well. Like It is important to have some kind of 4-drop, and that's probably the best one since it has potential pulling out Draxxus and Malganus. So... Good hands on both sides. Melkanis winning the joust here. But very scary to draw just because it's a 3 2. Melkanis, I would say, wins most jousts. Yep. Except against Deathwing. <laughs> and it's Giants, I think. Yeah. Kind of awkward here because if you drop your Watcher, uh, you're probably not going to play a 4 drop next turn since can't activate it. I guess no, it still makes sense. You can just play Watcher here and then play a 4 drop next turn. That allows yeah. you to pre-develop the mana so that you can play Sun Fury and more things. Yeah. B-Sticks on the board though for Houndmaster and UC San Diego from the Web Spinner pick up a 4 mana beast and the Armored War Horse. Another Joust card. Wow, that's a really good top deck. Uh, I mean, it'll, even if he doesn't have a Dark Bombing this turn, Dark Bomb will be an amazing card at some point here. So he has decided to go for the full work there, Dark Bomb plus. Yeah. This is going to make his Twilight Drake weaker when he decides to play it, but don't think they're going to be worried too much about that because it is still going to trade for most things on the board. Uh, it'll probably end up matching up against the Savannah Hyman, which isn't going to be that great. Yeah. You, uh, UCLA, I guess we see one interesting thing. They decide to Owl the Watcher instead of Sunfearing the Watcher. If you Sunfear the Watcher, you're a stronger minion, and you also get to save your Owl, but you're weaker to things like Kill Command. They can just Kill Command your 4-5 Taunt. Wow, winning the Joust. <laughs> <laughs> With the Ram Wrangler. Yeah. That gives uh, uh, UCLA some informational advantage, though, knowing that the Ram Wrangler's in there. They can uh, put higher emphasis on killing beasts off. Yeah. And also, even though UC San Diego wins the Joust and pushes damage, a it's pretty effective clear, yeah. And pushing damage could sometimes be bad. Yeah, against Molten Giants here, it's not that important. Right now, what you see San Diego needs to do is maintain board control going to the high main turns mm -hmm. because there's not a lot of things like Kill Command in his hand. There's a lot of slow, strong minions. So yeah. something you don't want to do is uh, get get them into Molten Giant range right now with this particular hand. Yeah. It makes more sense to play this slow. So in that sense, your four drop, even if it wins the Joust as a 5-3 Charger, it's not exactly the best thing mm -hmm. just because it doesn't win the... or it doesn't contribute a lot to the board compared to even something like a Shredder. Yeah. Freezing Trap, really good here. Yeah, especially since uh, they're paving the way to have a, a strong board going into the high main turn. Wow, that was a really good top deck. Since there was no Demon for Void Caller, uh, this feels a lot better than Void Caller Sun Fury, and you do want to play a Sun Fury this turn because... Uh, that's probably a freezing trap, so you do want to get a, the Sun Fury so you can get the freezing trap there. Yeah. Now they'll be able to hold on to that Sun Fury to play later on in the game with something like a Molten Giant once they get low. Oh, there's another Demon, so Voidcaller will pull out something if it doesn't get silenced. Still very safe to play a Voidcaller here because with double taunts, uh, you're not likely to die. Does just play Argus over Defender of Ar Oh, th this makes sense. The Argus it here trades is because into it this. trades into the yeah. high main better. You still don't need to trade yourself, but you could just develop the Argus and go face. Mm -hmm. I like that better. If you trade yourself, what happens is you give them two beasts that can attack in the same turn. Yeah. Whereas if they attack with the high main, they can't also attack. It's like 10 damage in mm -hmm. one turn instead of six. Yeah. So actually, you're just going to go ahead and cash in now uh, instead of pushing that damage. This plays around... I don't know. I mean, maybe he'll scared of Houndmaster on the 
on the high main, which would enable them to trade better. Houndmaster is not even bad here at all, still. Could silence the 5 2. Yeah. I don't know if they have any more traps besides the double freezing, though, that Mad Scientist is going to get value. Um, we saw snake traps earlier in some of those mulligans. But I don't think in this here. match. We have uh, to see here if it. there's actually another trap other than the two freezing traps. Usually, it's either two freezing traps or two freezing and one snake. This kind of mid-range runner. Yeah. Explosive trap has sort of been phased out of most mid-range mid runner lists. Yeah. It was being run for a while. Still fairly good terms for UCLA. One of the big things here is... so. As a handlock, your goal here is to be able to play your molds and not die, preferably with taunts, and then mm. bounce back with your heal bots. If you just pre-play your heal bots, you're not going to be able to play molds for a long time. And at that point, the board state, when you do finally play, it could be out of your control. Yeah. So say there's things like Dr. Boom coming up or high mains later, and you end up not pushing your life low, just playing safe, healing up. At that point, it might be too late because they'll burst you when you finally get there. So. They're going for the play of you know, not playing these heal bots and trying to get out the giant first. Does decide to play a giant over the void caller here first. Uh, it means that he doesn't have to tap next turn. Yeah. With this play, with void caller, you're more tempted to probably tap and play giant next turn. So. Ram Wrangler, not the best in this case. He'd have to use the owl to be able to activate it. But that's just super weak. Freezy Trap, not too good in this situation. You don't want to bounce no. the Molten Jack because it'll just be played again. Well, you would just bounce the 2-1 at this point. Yeah, which is... Yeah. You don't want to bounce either. No. Neither are good targets for a Freezy Trap to, to go up against. So This is basically how Hunter loses when you, you get him too low with not a lot of burn. And yeah. then you, you also you also lose board because they have a like 1 mana 8-8 eight, eight or something. 3 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Uh, either way, though, you didn't... They didn't have much of a choice here. I guess they could have played in a way where they did less damage, but ultimately, with Handlock curving out like this, and uh, you just... It was really the big, like, turn four, double drakes into the Sun Fury. That kind of opening, unless you have answers right away, I think the Owl is drawn a little bit later. By that point, the drakes were already kind of low mm -hmm. on life, so that really stopped the tempo from Hunter. That Armored Warhorse, too, pushing that five damage in. Yeah end up coming back to haunt them, because that just made those molten's come quicker. So Ram Wrangler here could be a big deal. King Crush would trade into... Oh. Oh? <laughs> Not actually that good. There's no other beast, so that that's just a 2-5 for charge for now. Oh, you, Misha gets uh, gets charged. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought Misha was played already. Yeah, it, it's uh, retroactive. Yeah, I, I thought Misha was from last turn for some reason. Yeah. Shadow Flame. Flame. This That's isn't good. the best board, though. I mean, they're they're out of a lot of threats, but UC San Diego really needs burn. Yeah, this is gonna it's still a great Shadow Flame because you get to clear the board. I might even go for Shadow Flame on Void Caller because you get another demon out, and you if you Shadow Flame, you don't really use your mana any better if you Shadow Flame your Watcher. You don't need that one extra damage. Since you're shadow flaming and trading a minion into the two five, mm -hmm. yeah. So you might not want to shadow flame your void caller because you're scared to get out Draxus. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing necessarily. Yeah, looks like they're thinking about it. Uh, they attacked him with the anti kill bot first. This is interesting. Okay. This is just a little bit of a different way to do it, but they don't get their taunt and they don't get the immediate activation from the void card to pull another demon out of the out of the hand. Taunt Ouch. is still kind of good, but ultimately, no matter what he does, he's still pretty far ahead here. He has uh, healing and threats, so mm -hmm. he's actually starting to put pressure on too. So, with seven damage on the board plus you know Drax is from hand to deal an additional three. Wow, bolt giant! It's a pretty good top deck. And since they killed the last mad scientist and didn't see a trap come out, they can be pretty safe to just, you know, attack into this and 
uh, probably know that that last card in the hand is Freezing Trap because <laughs> they've only seen one. Yeah, I mean, winning at this point is just a formality. You're just yeah. <laughs> you see, you see San Diego maybe just trying to stick in this in this match to get a little bit more information. Yeah. Out of these last couple decks, or these last couple uh, turns. And setting up for next turn lethal, also healing themselves out of range of just about anything, even if they did have a big board. <laughs> yeah. So you see San Diego is going to concede out of it. And Los Angeles, University of California, Los Angeles, takes aim number one.